Hello guys, welcome back to the debug arena. In this video, I am going to apply one functionality through which when user will log into our react native application, he will be navigated to home screen page. And if user try to restart our application, then also he should navigate it directly to home screen rather than going back to the login screen. So we are going to fix this. So first let me show you the problem. You can see here, this is my application where I have implemented registration and login by integrating Node.js and MongoDB with our React Native application. So if you also want to learn this, then you can go and check out my previous videos. So first, I will try to register one user. Name will be Thakur. Okay, I will click on register. You can see I am getting registered successful. Now I will try to do login. And when I press on login, you can see I am getting the message as logged in successful. I will click on OK. And you can see it has been navigated to home screen and here I am getting all the user's details. Now I will try to restart my application like this. I will close the application. I will open the application again. And you can see we have logged in previously but it is again navigating us to login page. So we have to fix this issue. To fix this issue, first we have to go to our login page and let's go to the function where we are handling the login. Your login function may be different but you can apply the same logic. So this is my login page and this is my login function. And here I have called this XCOS request and this is my response after the user have been logged in successful. Here I am alerting logged in successful and here I am storing the token. With the help of this token, I am getting the user's detail inside home screen page. If you want to learn this, then you can watch my previous videos. So now here, the first step you have to do is to install this package name as react native async storage async storage. So you can go to your CMD, run npm i at the rate react native async storage async storage. Then I will come to my login function. Then after the user have been logged in successful, I will come down and write here async storage or set item. This will create the variable inside our async storage and this async storage will be stored in our mobile local. Here I will pass my variable name which will be is logged in. It will be set to true. I will not set true directly. I will just json.stringify it. So our first step is done. Now let's go to app.jsx where we are going to get this value. So this is my app.jsx. So I will come to my function app and here I will just create a new function name as get data we will make this function async here also I will import that async storage so I will copy this come here paste it okay, I will come down and here inside this function I will create a variable name as data is equals to this will be await and it will be async storage there we have set the item and here we will get the item and we will pass here the key and the key is is logged in. This name should be same as this name. Otherwise, we will not be able to get that. So I will copy this and just paste it here. Now I will create one state here. Name as is logged in. And I will pass here use state. And inside this, I will pass it as false. In whatever data we will get here, whether it will be true or false. We will set this data inside this is logged in and I will pass this data. For now, let's console this data also so that we will see what we are getting true or false. Now I will call this get data inside my use effect so that it will run every time. Now the second step is done. Now let's handle this like if our is logged in is true, then we will navigate user to home screen. If you is logged in is false, then we will navigate our user to this login screen. You can see here this is my login navigator and if I come up this is my draw navigator. So these are two navigator which I am using like this is the navigator responsible for all the screens inside home screen and this navigator is responsible for all the screens before logged in. Okay. So I will also create a new function here just like draw nav. So I will just control x here. I will come up here. Same like draw nav. What I will do? I will come here and login nav. Inside this, I will pass const stack create native stack navigator. Okay, done. And I will paste that code. So here, this is my login nav and this is my draw nav. These are the two navigator which I have to show. So I will come inside this function and here inside navigation container, what I will do, I will just write here is logged in 
if my is logged in is true then i will show user my draw nav it is false then i will show user my login nav okay i will save this okay i will remove this also and this step is also done now the only remaining step is that we have to implement this logout functionality so for that i will go to my draw navigator so i will come here and all my draw code is inside this draw content because i have made this draw content manually like customize that's why it is separated here so i will come here and you can see this is my sign up function so inside draw item i will just write here on press and i will define a function here name as sign out we we'll go to top and here we will create that function name as sign out inside this what i will do first i will import this async storage and then i will try to set item and i will set our variable which is is logged in and i will set it to null what this will do whenever user will try to click on the sign out button it will make this variable as null that means this statement will be false here you can see and it will show us this login nav i also have another variable which is known as token so i will make that also null like this and now once user press on the sign out button i have to navigate to my login page for that i am going to use react hook name as use navigation so i will scroll up i will copy this use navigation i will come here i will paste that inside my main function then i will come here and write navigation dot navigate and in this i will pass my location which is login user and i will hit on save i will click on the sign out button and you can see i am getting this message the action navigate with payload name login user doesn't exist so let's go to my app.jsx let's go to stack navigator and you can see here this is my stack navigator and there is nothing like login user so let's create that so i will write here stack dot screen and my screen name will be login user in component i will pass my login nav this login nav i have just created now okay now i will save this then i will come to my draw navigator draw content okay now i will try to do login so i will write here ad3 and click on login and you can see i have got logged in successful i have been navigated here now i will try to reload my application as per our implementation we should directly be navigated to my home screen so let's see whether it is happening or not so you can see i have been directly navigated to my home screen there we have seen that login screen but in that case we have to use the loader to hide this transition now what i will do i will click here i will try to do log out and then reload our application so i have been logged out now i will press r here and now it should directly go to login screen and you can see it is totally working fine so this is how you can control whether to show your login screen or your home screen that's it for the video in the upcoming videos i am going to cover this loading thing also i am going to cover this functionalities if user is at the home screen and if he presses the back button then he should not be navigated back to the login page because that is illegal he should get the message if you press back once again your application will be closed so we are going to cover that functionality in the next video also instead of alert i am going to implement a toast message in our application so stay tuned for that that's it for the video if you like this video then please like share and subscribe thank you